Read it. Hello, I'm Joe Phonium. My name is Joe, and I play the Euphonium. So this is Nodame Cantabile, episode nine. Um, yeah, I know we were teased with the Rachmaninoff two, which never ended up happening in the last episode. Hopefully, we focus on that with this. But we did get the um, introduction of Milch's assistant, who was a uh, very fun. But also, like, in terms of giving the show a little more serious drama. Um, very good addition, especially that part where she told them about Milch's history with the Chancellor of the school. Um, I really liked how, for once, we had a nice, sincere moment that wasn't, you know, too over-cliched, and they, it, she served it very, very well. So hopefully she wasn't just a one-off and she continues, because, I don't know, for me, Milch is getting a little stale at this point. I planned on a nice, quiet drive alone. Hey there, old buddy. How about we all go together? More like how about Chiaki blows his brains out. <laughs> or at least sing the same song. I, I actually kind of do the like music festival. the little... That was a good cell use of the CGI with the, with the car there. Famed pianist Nina Lutz. Uh -oh. oh boy. What Allegro Barbaro? Please begin. Well, who's the composer? Oh, it's Bartok! That's one that I would not expect to be featured at an anime didn't series. Hair, did you? Bartok's Allegro Barbaro. It's the assigned piece for this seminar. Really? I take it you didn't study it. Even if you didn't look at it, three people have already played it. Were you even listening? That's probably the reason why she played it as well as she did. Does this interest you or not? No. Get out! Honestly, I don't fault the instructor for any of that. These these things are serious for serious musicians and all that. All the participants pass big auditions to get here. They're the cream of the crop, so of course they're good. Yeah, it it's like, uh, what's one that I know about here? Oh, Aspen. The Aspen Music Festival, another high octane thing. This is one scenario where Nodame's comedy antics don't really fit in. But I've searched all the cottages! I can't find them anywhere! Why? Like, I would give arm and a leg to go and learn, go to one of these things and learn from people. Dvorak's number five? That's a reach? I've never heard of it. Huh? What do you mean you've never heard of it? Huh? You practiced it before you came like you were told, right? Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> oh, they're doing the foot thing. That orchestra people do. How are you two? He's in hangover mode. Does he need something to drink? That's the last thing he needs. You know, between Nadame and Mine and now Stressamon, this school is going to get, like, blacklisted from Music World. Well, yeah, they're all high-level musicians. That's why they sound good. They've learned their parts, so that way, um... But, there's obviously one person who didn't practice. Um, you know, they learn their parts so that they can spend their time listening and blending, and with that level, they can do that pretty quickly. I wish he'd conduct his extracurricular activities when he's not conducting the orchestra. I like Masumi in this episode. He's pretty oh, low-key and serious. You're depressing. He Which is a good change from his zaniness. And I have to play right next to him. He ought to be a little depressed. 
It's like the competition for flautists is brutal out there. Oh, That's yeah. putting it mildly. Guess we have to study abroad. Are you kidding? I you know, when like a, a, t a position opens up, like this all the music world knows so about it. Good. Yet they're worried about finding a job? Yep. I just figured that someday I'd turn pro, no problem. Nope. That ain't happening. It's gotta get with an orchestra or something else, or get some other gig going on, or else you're gonna be... No, Dame, I... These things are too important, and... I respect these things way too much. For, for, for all your bullcrap. I get how the brass is elevated there. Um... That seems What's precarious that? for the timpani, though. That's not Maestro Stressamon. <laughs> Stressamon's found himself a protege from Japan. I think that's newsworthy, don't you? Yeah. Chiaki's gonna be getting some good attention after this, and Stressamon's really gonna shit over his career. He's he, Chiaki's definitely grown there, but it's probably just the way it's drawn there. I mean, it's just a background thing. It, I don't know. Just depth-wise, it doesn't look. Rhythms like that shouldn't be wide enough to have a full set of timpani, especially the way he's got them set up. And I would rather just lose to see the random CGI for single instruments like that. It doesn't blend God. well. He's a great talent, but he also works just as hard. Hard work will anymore. beat talent I'll when talent soda, does not uh, work hard. No, no dame. I, I think I remember the saying right. <laughs> My teacher has that had that outside his wall. But what? She's gone feral. I look forward to seeing you conduct your own orchestra someday. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, I appreciate. Getting the, getting, you know, the clout, getting the people's eyes on you. It's all part of building up your name. The last day of the festival. The stress all that networking. Network, that's the biggest thing in music world. Ah, come on, not in front of a freaking audience. He's the son of pianist Masayuki Chiaki. How's that for research? What's more, he's Stressamon's protege and a young, handsome buck to boot. Have we ever talked about so Chiaki's family? Is that the first yeah. inkling we've gotten of, like, him young. being oh, of some important Sing descent? Dame. Say that again. Say Masumi. Where is Nodame? Yeah, this is when I'm starting to like you, Masumi. I looked all over for her, too, but she's nowhere to be seen. No, she that. makes strange noises, like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember. Love how he demonstrated that. <laughs> And that, then that conveyed the right image. I couldn't tell you how she was. She needs to just. So much, Madame Lutz. Might I, say, I mean, from a story standpoint, you know, we get her antics. We we got we got to add more to her. Yeah, she's a good pianist, and can we see maybe more of that now? Maybe this will be the start of that. And, like, to give an actual, like, terminology to, like, Nodame's strength, it's her, I guess we call it, it's her musicality. You know, how dramatic, powerful, moving, just that, con that control of the emotional flow and all, and all that stuff of a piece. That, that's what we call musicality, and I guess that's what be, what Nodame's strength is, and just, like, how, yes, can we get to that? Um, you, like Chiaki has said, you know, the song, um, oh, it was way back early, like, when we first met her, but, like, what Chiaki was saying about, like, what was unique and special about her playing, and that, that, that's the term what, that we would use for that, musicality. So that was Nodami Cantabile episode 9, um, you know, like I said, those things are special, those festivals, and... I mean, I know this show is primarily a comedy, um, and I know where the episode had to go, and she, she would rise up to it, and this would happen, and whatnot. Um, I don't know. 
I don't fault exactly fault her teacher for treating her the way she did there because um, from her perspective, she's wasting her time there, and yeah, she would have had her that teacher would have had the expectation that yeah, everyone would have been prepared for that. And like I said, Nodame had been feeling that she'd be getting a little stale, just like Milch. Um, so yeah, her antics. May have been entertaining in other scenarios, but that one, like, I consider that much more serious. So, um, yeah. Funny, cute, maybe it once was. Now I want it. Oh! It's a mongoose? Okay, um, so yeah. Hopefully she steps it up and this is the beginning of more and more piano from Nodame, especially now that um, Chiaki's going to be doing it too. Um, the the Ramana of Concero, I mean. Um, so let's see where that goes. Um, I'll see you for Nodame Cantabile, episode 10. I'm Joe Phonium. My name is Joe and I play the Euphonium. See ya! Happy playing! playing.